Hey everybody, it's Melanie Hope Greenberg coming to you from Brooklyn, New York, Mermaid Central. Today, I'm going to be reading Mermaids on Parade by Melanie Hope Greenberg. That's me. Mermaids on Parade. Once a year, when vacation starts, I march in a parade to open the ocean for the summer solstice. Mom, Dad, and I get ready. Mom gets me into my jeweled costume, and Dad glues starfish onto my seashell wagon. Marchers arrive early into my Coney Island neighborhood. The ocean air smells extra salty, and the streets are electric with excitement. Today is the day when legendary mermaids, Neptunes, and sea creatures leave their oceans to walk on the land. Everyone lines up and all the marchers are given a badge. My number is 55. Queen Mermaid and King Neptune lead the parade of gorgeous, glistening sea creatures. The heat rising from the steamy sidewalk makes them seem to sway and shimmer. I can hear the ocean waves pounding onto the shore and my heart beats faster. There are rows and rows of onlookers along the boardwalk. They cheer and they applaud. Clap, clap, clap. And they click their cameras. Snap, snap, snap. In front of us are Brooklyn's East River Mermaids. I get a chill down my spine each time they dance and whirl and spin and twirl. Now the parade makes a turn along Surf Avenue. Screechy brakes from the subway trains overhead set off tiny sparks of light like fireworks to join in the celebration. And here you could see, let's see, the subway trains. At least I'm trying to show you. Oops, the subway train. Anyway. The hot sun feels warm and tingly on my skin as we wait for floats and performers to stop in front of the judges' stand. The cheering and the music are so loud. What are the judges saying? And who's going to win a trophy? I have a whole bunch of trophies here. But first... All the onlookers and the marchers follow the king and queen down the beach to the ocean. Queen Mermaid has a scissor and she snips four ribbons along the way. Snip, 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 autumn, winter, spring, then a snip for summer and the ocean is open to all. The king and queen throw juicy fruits into the salty sea for a good summer of swimming. Mangoes, pineapples, and bananas bob up and down before they sink below to feed the sea gods and goddesses. Sea foam tickles my toes. When the parade is over, everyone spreads out to thrill on amusement park rides and attractions, or they go to the boardwalk to get something to eat or something cool to drink. But mom, dad, and I cannot wait 
to get back to the judges stand. We see trophies that say best music group, best mermaid, best Neptune. Then I see a trophy that has number 55. That's my number. I want a trophy. Waves of joy lift me higher and higher. I am voted best little mermaid. Today, I march with Neptunes and sea creatures and magical beings. And tomorrow, they will all return to the sea again for another year. Or maybe they just return to their neighborhoods. But I have my trophy to remember them always. And the back of the book, I gave how to make a mermaid tail in three easy steps as well as an author page of the history of the Coney Island Mermaid Parade. I will include all ordering information with Ingram Books at the bottom of, in the comments section of this YouTube. Ciao for now. Bye from Brooklyn.